Hey everybody, welcome back. We are <laughs> moving around. We are getting ready to watch some more Game of Thrones. Gotta plug the DVD player in. We are on season three. I don't know which episode we are. Five, maybe? I think we're on five. Oh, this is disc two. Maybe we're only on three. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that beeping. If I wiggle the DVD player too much, it uh, connects, disconnects from the laptop. It's actually a little chilly here for the first time in forever. I've got all my windows open still. I actually closed the bathroom window, but it's been rainy and dreary all day. And no fun at all. So I uh, worked in the gallery today, so we're kind of dressed. I went ahead and put my PJ bottoms on. And Purper and I have just been cuddling, watching some shows and getting caught up. So this is episode three. Uh, this one's called Walk of Punishment. Walk, Walk of Punishment. Uh, I think Walk of Punishment could be, I was going to say Ned. <laughs> I just uploaded the other video, the the finale of, uh, of season one. And yeah, you guys were like, what? You forgot Ned was decapitated? <laughs> Sorry. I, I just did not get a big attachment to Ned. He wasn't a very charismatic character at all. So it was one of those things of, oh, they're beheading him. Uh, <laughs> I just keep forgetting he was beheaded. At any rate, Walk of Punishment could be Tyrion, could be uh, Joffrey by Grandpa, could be... Most likely would be Theon or uh, John, although I don't think John, because the chief of this uh, tribe, the North North, North of the North, seems to like him. Uh, but he also deserted his commander in his group of uh, the Knights of the Knights of the Watch. That doesn't sound right. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I don't think it's John. Uh, but Theon, um, it could be, what is uh, John's friend's name? Tully? Something like Tully? I couldn't remember exactly. Um, it could be punishment for him because they had mentioned something about him leaving somebody behind while the dead killed him or something like that. So it could be related to that. Where did we leave off with Ari and her friends? They're on their way to the wall, right? They haven't made it there yet. Don't think they've made it there yet. So I don't think the walk of punishment is her. Rob, I don't think there's punishment there. He's kind of been winning his end of the war kind of stuff. Uh, his mom, though, that could be the walk of punishment. So, uh, Catelyn... Maybe we got a bunch of different possibilities that the punishment could be. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what the episode is about. And I'm going to make sure the sound is working correctly because we just did an update. Hopefully it's not too loud. It's going to be pretty loud though, isn't it? Turned it down a little bit. Hopefully it's not too bad. I don't think Khaleesi would be punished. All of her folks are on a boat though. Are we starting off there? Dianaries? Did I say it right? Maybe not. We're burning somebody. A fire funeral. Who is it that died? Did I totally forget another major character that's died? Oh, missed. Missed again? Yep. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, the walk of punishment could be Jamie and... Brianna also. Hopefully this guy makes it. Ah, 
time he made it. Without a strategic thought in his head, I could have that head on a spike by now. I think he's a little mad. Sorry. I didn't know you would have. I'm guessing he's the walk of punishment. Patient. Tywin Lannister. Cut to Tywin. <laughs> he even chuckled. Acting old and feeble. Is this a game of musical chairs? He's just trying to be annoying. <laughs> For the funeral of his grandfather, Lord Hoster Tully. Oh, In okay. Stark's absence. I'm quite good at spending money, but a lifetime of outrageous wealth hasn't taught me much about managing it. Poor Tyrion. Always getting stuck with stuff he doesn't want to do. All my life I've been hearing Jamie Lannister. Well, they haven't really killed Jamie. No, I don't think you care about it. I think she believes he's telling her the truth. So I can walk away then? These woods aren't safe for Ned Stark's daughter. I Keep forgot the they found her. Ouch. Watch your head. I made you something. Oh, wolf. Well. Don't get stabbed. You don't. Well, he found his calling. Yeah, That's good. Fingers. I think we'll see him again, though. I'm glad she left him with that. Is it true what they say about him? I don't know. What do they say about him? That he can turn into a wolf at night. True. And he eats the flesh of it's his enemies. It's true about Bran. I like how she fed into the, the mythos a little bit. Well, that's a step up from the Godfather. It's not impossible. You don't go far betting against Mormons. But dead or alive. Your friend got away. Well, the guards from side. <laughs> we'll meet again. All right. If you do your job. So, I'm confused. Why are they going after the Night's Watch to kill them? Why aren't they going after the White Walkers who killed the Night's Watchmen here? Unless the they're going to kill the Night's Watchmen because they allow the other guy to kill babies to give to the White Walkers. Am I convoluting it enough? <laughs> Is Ghost trying to lead him away? So they went back to this guy who sacrifices the babies. You are a godly man. I am. I, I was gonna say, he he acts like he like he is a god even though he's not. And then he said that godly line. So it's like, yeah, really feeding into it. Somebody's given birth. <laughs> they definitely have the Night's Watch guys have a different attitude towards him. Than when they left him. He's poking his nose where it shouldn't be poking. It's a boy. Theon. That wasn't very quiet. Should be able to if a a good horse that's tamed well, you should be able to nudge it with your heel and. Do a little. But first there must be sacrifices. A Lord of Light demands it. I'm a little tired of their story arc. There's not much of an arc. That's quite the statue, isn't it? 7,877 unsullied. Quite the bargaining. I'm dragons. not good at bargaining. Please. The dragons only listen to her anyhow. Do you have a name? This one's name is Masande, your grace. She is standing her ground. Family, which is good. Returned to if you had the choice. 
Many of those on the walk of punishment were taken there for less. I offered water oh, to the slaves okay. down on the walk of Valar Mogulis. Yes. All men must die. But we are not men. Ah, made her smile. Is she the one they were talking about it's earlier? A surprising place to keep the royal ledgers. I'm surprised you're surprised. Pod, take them outside. We'll be there in a moment. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Quit looking at her bosom. I did fuck her once. I know, but we don't. I know. But how will the queen get that idea? <laughs> what? Keep a look he knows there's while. a story there, and he doesn't have the story. If she's not bad with second time as either. Ah, uh, my lord. <laughs> Fair enough. Re be back in time for my supper. <sighs> <laughs> well, he's going to have a heyday, isn't he? Never, my father. A man of the world, you're strangely naive. I've never borrowed <laughs> money before. You were gone a long time. I trust you got your money's worth. Or that wasn't least, very long. I say my money's worth. Have you ever known a whore to turn down gold? What did you do to them? Lots of things. These ladies enjoyed him so much, they gave him the time for free. Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> I guess getting the details to see if he's telling the truth or not. Well, is that some sisterly love? Nope. Did his sister not follow through again? Or watch where you're going when you're riding in the woods. Too easy to find a branch. Don't hit the horses. We already had a bunch of horses die. I like that branch. Oh, guess they found him. I do not like having the wind knocked out of me. I've had that happen a time or two. In fact, the one time it happened, Dad thought I broke my back. I got bucked off a horse onto Chippentar. And Dad said the way my legs were and the way I was breathing like that, he thought I broke my back. I'm gonna fuck you into the dirt. No, please. No, no, well, hopefully his sister shows up now. There we go. It's not his sister. Is he the one that's with Bran? Winter is coming. The Celtic looking fella. His hair looks darker, so I don't think it's the same one. The other one had a slimmer face. God, he might get it worse. I think Jamie's actually going to come to our defense. I think he kind of admires her. So he's going to talk his way into helping her. What Selwyn would pay his daughter's weight in sapphires if she's returned to him? Bring her back here! He saved her. Good on you, Jamie. There might be a little bit of worth in you. I'm having some deja vu. Hard to argue with that. Something's gonna go wrong. He's gonna escape. Suppose you'll be wanting something to eat. Will this work as a table, my lord? Something's gonna backfire. That's what I was thinking. They were falling for it way too easily. That pointy end of the sword has got to hurt a little bit. Is it considered a sword? Oh, just cut his hand off. Not used to a little metal with this time period. Have we had this music before on this show? I think we have. I'm just not used to it. Was this the song they were singing on the horses? Maybe. I was a little surprised they chopped off his hand. I wasn't ex so... I knew they were going along with it way too easily, and so I figured something was going to backfire. I'm shocked that as far in as he had that corner of the blade, because I, I don't know if it was a sword, dagger, knife, whatever. It looked like a butcher knife, but <laughs> a fancy butcher knife. But as far as he had it in the corner of his eye, I'm shocked there was no blood coming either from the eyelid um, or the the under eye or the eye itself. So I'm a little shocked by that, but shocked even more by the fact that they went ahead and cut his hand off. He does brag about his money way too much. And he does brag about his daddy way too much. So you, you knew it was kind of going to backfire at some point. Now, Brienne, on the other hand, they did stop trying to rape her, but are they going to continue to leave her alone and try to get the sapphires and trade for her? Or are they just going to take advantage of her 
now that they've shown Jamie they don't trust him and don't believe him. You're all clumpy. You're all clumpy. Say, we got our claws cut today. I can't talk anymore. Is your ear itching? Got to find a good spot so you can scratch your ear. Yeah. Balancing on mama's legs don't work, does it? I don't know who that guy was that rescued Theon. I don't know if he was part of that group that is with Brienne and Hodor. And I always forget the lady's name. And Brienne's little brother. I don't know if he was sent by his sister. Or maybe the whole line about his sister waiting for him to help him was all BS. Um, and that was their way to get him freed but at the same time get him to them whoever them are so don't know all that we got a little bit of the north folks another baby boy born and john's friend tully till i figure out what his real name is witnessed it and then he went away but we don't know where he went away to we don't know if he went to try to find a way to save the baby or to save the girl or what the Night's Watch, they confuse me sometimes. And the guy that thinks of himself as godly, I, I forget his name. He just is a disgusting man. <laughs> Which the commander knows. So I don't know. I don't know. John's group is going, is going towards the wall so that they can scale it and then kill... The Night's Watchmen. I'm guessing because they give in to the godly man. Godly man. We got a little bit of Ari. She and... I had his name earlier. Gandril. I think it's Gandril. Uh, she and Gandril are on their way again. Uh, they left behind the other guy. Hi, Pi? Hi, something like that. There wasn't really much use for him, so we may not see him again, but he's a character that could always pop up again. So we shall see. And it looks like he might not necessarily be happy where he's at, but it's something where he's at least content. He can bake and do his stuff and not have to worry about being on the run and all that kind of stuff. And I guess the big thing at... Uh, King's Landing is that Tyrion is now the Master of Coin. I don't know if that's permanently or until Littlefinger gets back, but he's the Master of Coin, even though he tried to tell him he shouldn't be. So we'll see if he screws anything up. We'll leave it at that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and watch the next episode and kind of go from there. So thank you all for joining me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.